Hi everyone, Tracy here with a layout and a challenge for the Scraptastic blog for uh, April. And um, I am going through the Let Me Go kit and I came across this quote, which I absolutely love. It's one of my favorites. It says, life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. Um, and the challenge this time is to use a quote. And so this is the quote that I'm going to be using. And um, I usually think about this quote as being a psychological quote, so kind of of like keeping balance um, in your life means kind of keep on going and moving forward and thinking about things yet to come rather than dwelling on things um, that already happened. Um, but in this case, I'm using this quote a little bit more literally, and I'm using it about physical activity. Um, and I changed my mind about the about how I was going to use the quote as I just kind of looked through the papers and the embellishments, and I decided to use the bicycle embellishment and the um, bicycle photo which is from last July of 2013 and it just kind of as as I began scrapbooking um, I'm just picking out some of the papers here that I think will kind of coordinate with the look that I'm looking for um, and here I'm using the that beautiful forest green cardstock uh, as a mat for this photo just to give it a little bit of an edge this is going to have a lot of layers and it's going to be a little bit busy so when I have a busy layout I like to mat the photo just to give it a little bit of space to breathe and here I'm using about an eighth of an inch of a border for the frame. And um, this background paper is from Fancy Pants and it's one of my favorites. It's from the As You Wish collection. And it has this chevron, but it's a very faint chevron and it looks kind of like vertical lines and it is a it has that ombre effect. I just love it. And now this large bold chevron, I'm actually just going to use half of this pattern, which is going to end up looking more like diagonal stripes than, than a chevron. And then there's the bike that I'm going to use. It's that old fashioned banana seat bike. I thought about putting this layout way down in the bottom here, but I've changed my mind to put it up in the middle eventually. I'm just going to cut a couple of pieces of paper here. This is from the uh, Crate Paper Style Board collection. And I'm just uh, kind of using my ruler to tear. It's a little bit easier to tear things than to cut. Uh, it, it means that you don't have to take things all apart in order to start cutting. Um, and it also just helps me to space where I want the front wheel of that bicycle to come off a little bit. I definitely want to use one of these tags, but I think that striped tag is too stripey given that there's already a striped paper on the, on the layout. So here I'm just going to go through these fancy pants embellishments and pick out a couple that I think might look okay. Um, I'm also thinking about layers and so I want to use this bold uh, chevron, this pink and cream. And this is inadvertently going to be a fairly monochromatic layout. There's going to be lots of pink in this one. My next one has lots of blue so <laughs> it wasn't really intentional but uh, that's sort of just the way it went. So I do want to uh, glue this down and so um, I knew that I wanted it here so I thought I might as well just start gluing it down. I'm using the grid on my work mat to help me position it in the place that it was before. I'm just going to cut off the edge. And so yes, the more I scrapbooked, the more I thought that I really wanted to journal about just the importance of physical activity and how that's something that we're challenging our family uh, to be more active over the, over the past year or so. So um, as I'm scrapbooking, I'm kind of leaning away from the idea of journaling about this as a psychological concept and more as, and I, I guess it's still a psychological concept, but it's just thinking more about in terms of physical activity rather than keeping on moving on from some thing that you're thinking about. So I have these layers pretty much the way that I want them now and I did use pop dots to put the the quote up off the page. The quote is actually more important than anything else on this layout. It's sort of all about the quote and then I happened to pick a photo of us bicycling. I actually took that from my own bike. I pulled out my my phone and snapped a photo while I was biking. Um, so it's not a bad photo considering that it was taken in motion. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm just looking for a roller date stamp that I can stamp on that uh, 
on that um, tag is where I'm going to put the date. And I did uh, pop up the quote because it is probably the most important element on this layout. And uh, I'm still not sure what my title is going to be, but um, I'll let you know when I figure that out. So I just partially stamped that so that I just got the month and the year. I didn't really care what day it was on because it's an old photo at this point anyways thinking about using the second tag but no I'm not it's too much and these chevrons add some energy and also some dark elements so I want to use them here I am thinking about using this pick it says I think life is an adventure or something like that or go out an adventure uh, there's another one of those chevrons, so uh, I'm thinking about using both of them. And I'm just pulling out some elements that I think might um, work with this layout. So I'm trying to stay away from, I love that quote, but it's too much. I, I didn't want to, I'm not going to put it there. I'm staying away from anything with a really big travel theme because this is not a traveling layout, but you can still use some of the phrases because you're moving when you're bicycling. So. And yeah, I didn't I didn't uh, zoom out here, but what I'm doing is I'm just taking a couple of strips of paper from the same papers that I've already layered and putting them up in the top corner. And I'm going to realize in a second that I didn't zoom out, and you'll see that in a minute. Just trying to figure out how I could get that to go the same direction as, <laughs> and I'm a little bit confused by that. But uh, anyways, I ended up deciding that it doesn't have to go the same direction, so. And I'm cutting another piece of that watercolor paper from um, from crepe paper. So, and that uh, that chevron, that multicolored chevron that ends up looking like a stripe, is also from crepe paper. It's from the o, o Darling collection. So I'm just cutting that off, and in a second I'm going to realize. And there you go. Zoom out a little bit so that you can see that. So that's a piece of that multicolored stripe, which is actually chevron on the paper, uh, but from crepe paper, and then that watercolor paper, also from crepe paper. And so I'm picking out some other embellishments, and I'm going to go ahead and put the bicycle down because I've decided I'm not going to put anything behind the bicycle. I was going to put a tag, but uh, I thought that would look too busy. And I'm trying not to make the bike look like it's going downhill so or uphill, so I want the bikes to be even, the, the wheels to be even. And uh, I'm just putting these chevrons around because it gives the impression of motion and, and direction. So it's kind of going in the same direction that the bicycle is going in, and the bicycle is going in the same direction that we are going in, sort of. So I'm just using a uh, pen, a marker that writes on slick surfaces. It's my Stettler Lumocolor pen. And uh, I'm using that to outline uh, the world is yours, I think it says. And I thought about putting this little ampersand in here, but instead I'm going to put something that's a little bit uh, beefier, that's got a bit heavier, is what I mean by that. And so this uh, this compass works well, and it fits with the theme of bicycling and kind of going on a little bit of an adventure. So I'm thinking about using some other stickers here, but I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, I thought about putting that one right there. It says, look ahead which again kind of fits with with the way that I described the quote at the beginning. Um, but I'm not going to use that after all. I just made sure that I made the N pointing, the North pointing at the top on that compass, which doesn't really matter, but I just wanted it that way. So I'm going to use this Hey World uh, flare badge from Ormolu, and I'm also going to use this cork geotag. And I, you know, there are lots of bicycle embellishments in this kit, but I really did not want to overdo it with a million bicycles everywhere. So, or even one or two bicycles. I just wanted the one because I, first of all, I really love that bicycle and it stands out when there's one of them. Whereas if there were three or four bicycles on this page, it would, um, the, the other bikes would compete with the main bike. Um, and this, you, you know, the same with the compass. I just wanted one compass, even though there are several different compasses of different sizes in the um, in the die cut pack that comes in the kit. 
I really love those cork elements and I wanted to use another cork element but I didn't want anything big so I chose to use the tiny little heart that came it's actually the heart that is uh, from the middle of the globe the globe has a little heart cut out of it so now I'm thinking about doing the title and uh, what's making me choose this title is the keep moving from the quote and so um, in this case because this layout is so much about the quote instead of um, choosing a title that might compete with the quote I decided to choose a title that comes directly from the quote and that way it really is all about that quotation from from Albert Einstein about keep moving so I have moving and I need to come up with the word keep so I have these jelly bean uh, bean board alphas and I'm going to pick out the word the the letters for the word keep just takes me a few minutes to go through and pick them all out I'm just putting them back into their little package and then I'll put the whole thing into a ziploc bag There we go. And you can't see it, but I put them in as a block bag there. So I immediately don't like this. <laughs> I'm going to play around with it a little bit, but I'm going to not end up using it like that. So I really like the word moving right down there between those two chevrons, but the word keep is just not. When I separate a title like that, instead of stacking one above the other, putting them right beside each other, when I separate the title, I really like to use the same font just so that it's very clear. So the word keep isn't just randomly sitting up there. When they're the same, your your eye picks up on that and and they become more of a single element even though there's space between them whereas when they're different it's hard to piece together that they're both words that are part of the same title so I switched to those thickers those thickers are called sketchbook and they're one of my favorites I love 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 them I already had a set of them but they were almost all gone so I was happy to have another set so now I, the, this layout is pretty much finished. I've got a couple more touches to add, um, but I really like how um, the keep moving is in black. It does help it to stand out. I'm going to just use some, some black thread here just to add a little bit more interest to that title. And I'm going to have a bit of trouble with that. So the first stitching that I do is just going to go right through nice and smooth. Um, I I stitch very very slowly over chipboard because this is a half size sewing machine so it doesn't have the same motor strength as a larger sewing machine and for some reason it keeps getting stuck in the chipboard this time around until I get until I just push it through and then at some point it just starts working again I'm not sure why exactly so there we go and because it kept getting stuck it's a bit of a mess on the back and I don't want any of those threads to pull off and for the to start coming apart on the other side so I'm just using some washi tape to keep the threads in place because I didn't backstitch or anything and then I had forgotten to uh, adhere the the other half of that quote once it was placed on the on the layout now I'm just going to add my journaling and I'm just going to journal around the top part of this paper and it says, I have to find it, it says we try to challenge ourselves as a family to keep physically active despite injuries and aches, right? Because uh, my daughter has um, plantar fasciitis and uh, it flares up every once in a while and then my other daughter is just prone to, she's a low th threshold for pain and she's just prone to complaining a lot so we try to just exercise anyways no matter how we're feeling so now I think I'm going to get my cake box that I use for sprinkling mist pretty sure that's what I'm doing yep there we go and I'm using silver Mr. Huey's and uh, Primrose uh, Heidi Swap Color Shine. So this is the silver. 
and I'm just sprinkling in a diagonal line from the top corner to the bottom corner. And uh, yeah, that's Primrose by Heidi Swap, I think I said. And then the, the silver is Mr. Huey's. Dries super fast on pattern paper, so I didn't have to really wait all that long. And now I'm just taking these gray chipboard stars from Studio Calico and I just sprinkled them just to see where they would fall and then I didn't like where they fell so I just moved them around a little bit. Uh, needed to get an assortment of both shades of gray on the top and on the bottom and I wanted one large in each cluster and the rest to be small. Sorry some of this is happening out of frame. So now you're going to see the close-ups. So the splatter was, I always find that the Heidi, the Heidi Swap mist always splatters quite a bit more uh, liberally than the others. So there's lots and lots of pink mist on there. Um, overall, I'm really happy with how this came out. I think it's a, it's a really nice uh, example of a layout that uses a family picture, but it's really more about kind of our family philosophy, I guess you might, you might call it. Uh, so thanks so much for watching, everybody. And this month I have a challenge for you, which is to use a quote in your um, in your scrapbooking layouts this month. And uh, if you'd like to hop on over to the Scraptastic blog, if you haven't been there already, the information on how to play along with this challenge and to uh, what the prize will be and everything is all on the blog, which I will link in the information section above or below or over to the side. So have a great scrappy week, everyone.